afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Oh yeah! Look at me! But, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. Bloody Mary looks so much like Taylor. Is it Taylor? Taylor from Little Hope. If you have watched, uh, if you have played the game or if you have watched my uh, my playthrough, gameplay, whatever, of Little Hope, she looks so much like Taylor. The same pixie cut thing going on, you know. Oh my god, who's worshipping the devil? Oh my god. See you around. Hollow Point bullets oh, are a nasty business. My God. Silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. Damn. Be easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. Oh my god, this poor dude. I figured I'd dude. be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. What happened? What happened to me? There was... You got lucky and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Thanks, Doc. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged setting his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns Ooh. him that much, he can set it himself. You don't have to be that mean, you know. <laughs> set my bone. Oh God. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. For <God's> sake. Oh. <laughs> oh now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? My eyes are watering. I. Oh my God. You're probably better off. This way, I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is he cartoon, but it's before. still so. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. <laughs> Just relax. Did there any morphine? Are you serious? Or any kind of painkiller, really? Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps Anas it'd be Anas better if you gave me a few minutes Anas to finish with Anesthesia? I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be better hands. And I need the space to work, so... if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I could do this with my optic nerves severed. <laughs> we'll Shut up! In a moment. Just please, give us the time. No! Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Hey, oh, he listen shut up. up. Shut the hell up, will you? <laughs> yes, that beans, would be yeah. helpful. There, all done. Great. 
This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... God damn it, look at me. no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. I hope he doesn't really His die in the game. will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just Snow enough. has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, <laughs> the guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> Budo. <laughs> Fucking jokers, la. That's right. Beer. Or so, alcoholic or whatever. How do you, um, feel? It's big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Don't worry about, Don't worry me. about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. I'm glad you're not dead. Let me just fall in love a little bit. Come on. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or. or. Died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were. Snow, I'd never leave you. Oh. oh. Yeah, you were really Stop fucked it. up, man. You look like you're you not... an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Fucking Colin Swain. I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. Ugh. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. You ruined well, the I'll moment. Get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? <laughs> and who should I be asking? You should I be get... worried about the crooked man taking over? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about Crane anymore, Bigby. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? It's late. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there, Colin, so just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now just... is... Just Leave me in what my place, does the rent man free. want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet. And the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? Maybe they were... I don't know how it all works out yet. They owed money. I know it does. No, it cannot Somehow. Be. The crooked man declared oh. war against us last night. Oh. At least you that's never saw what that. I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. I agree. We need to do things the right way. Y'all need backup. What back does up. that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but 
We're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. Oof. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, My I'm woman. sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? <laughs> All Colin. unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a fucking break. No, Snow, what the Are fuck? Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard. Nerissa. Nerissa? Oh. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always Probably do well with something. the, uh, disenfranchised. Shut she up. knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, She's you're not doing really best. gonna send me to the farm, are you? I Ooh. mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? No, I don't know. Change. Snow will come around. Right. She's just. You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and. She doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. What if it's the pig the whole time? What if the pig is Mr. Crooked? I mean, the Crooked Man. Huh? What if? Hmm? Nobody can be trusted. Hello, baby. This is really getting really interesting. Like, like right now, I can't tell. I can't, I can't, I can't really put my suspicion on only one person, character, individual. Like, everyone is suspicious. Nobody can be trusted. In fact, I don't even trust Snow White. This game is really fucking with you in your head. And just fuck you. Fucking. Sheep's clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Ooh. Hi, Marissa. Hello, baby. Have a seat. He 
barely had any sleep. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I I've wasn't sure you'd be been better. Let's just say I've been better. <laughs> Oh, damn it, man. Enough smoking. Enough. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Let's hear it. Thanks. So what brings you up? There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? I click. I did click. I did, what I need. I, did. I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just. These lips are see. Go ahead. Is this about the Crooked Man? You're here because the Crooked Man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. There we go! You see? If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. You can trust me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. I feel bad. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Are my friends in danger? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. These lips. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. Oh, fuck. I couldn't decide. These lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Huh? Do you? It's the same thing she asked. I don't know what I can do. The same thing Faith asked. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? So if she takes out the ribbon, does she die? Can't we... Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, 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 don't. These lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Okay, my bad. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm Please. sorry. Don't. My bad. <sighs> my bad. Okay. I get it. So it is a stun. ribbons. If you take them off. Comfort her. Well, Nerissa is pretty hunched. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. 
I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. What are you worried about? These Just lips. please don't say anything. Shino must be Sorry, suspecting. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. Beauty and Beast. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. Does that technically so mean I about don't beauty and know beast. anything? Do you think there's something to it? I did, right? Is this My the bad. right place to look? I should not what have. What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty and got a loan. Scared about what's been going on. Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the crooked man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. She barely pressed the button. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Like? What? Eh? Okay, see, now Snow White is very suspicious. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? I'm sorry. Were you else? expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Bingley? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to Are deal with sure the runaround. It was the worst Snow life. said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Come on, man. I... So have you. Bigby. She hasn't Yet, been with cheating. With all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy. In oh this. my god! I learned to listen I've had and to understand. Hear about it all night long from her. <clears throat> Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? You know I was not cheating. What the fuck? I mean, she was not. Ugh. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Asshole. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast! I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Hmm. Do you want to talk about living about in the past? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. Is there anything we else? Need to talk to Big B. Anything else? If you want to talk, we'll talk. You're coming or not? There you go. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, 
Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? <clears throat> Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our right. own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta man know one some thing first. Sleep, man. What if we did have <laughs> something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get right. like this. The rich it's life. just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... The crooked man. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Hey, we're not done yet. <laughs> and we can't go to should... the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> they sound so happy. Possible. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Mm -hmm. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Oops. I didn't Jersey. know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. <laughs> I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. He's in I guess too. he's had hard times too. He tried to sell There's the a axe. lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money. You don't have... Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Everything is on I me, guess I'll go my check god. Out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above. It's the place Butcher. on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. 
Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on here. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want me to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No, no. probably not. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. God damn it! I can't decide. <laughs> now that I've discovered the pause button. <laughs> Oh my god, do I go to the lucky pawn or the butcher shop? I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of zoned out when they were having that conversation before this. Hey, uh, uh, we're going to the butcher shop. I, 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 I don't know. I, don't know. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. God damn it, now you tell me? Now you... Now you tell Wait. me? I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Everyone well, wants our help. Maybe you can make this all just go away. But everyone we trashes really me. really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of course not. I don't know how you get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous. To all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Sure, after bashing me up. For investigating, big bucks. Zero fucks given. Okay, stop smoking. Noise. Take a real wait. Let me look at the frozen meat. Not very appetizing. Stale, man. Frozen it's frozen solid. Who'd ah, want to eat this? Yeah, it's not fresh, la. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. This is his side job. So avoid paying right. the taxes. 
Taxation is theft, by the way, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Big, big wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? Yeah, you were definitely you nervous. You in a particular cut? You. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. I yes. know Bloody Mary hangs around Bloody here. Bloody. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Bloody Mary. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. What see is what you get. Bloody Mary. Just meat. You don't find anything else. It's a bloody baby. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing around? here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I. Did you hear that? <laughs> what? He's trying to escape. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on, I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. No, Big B, you gotta... He, he just is going to leave, he's escaping, bro, go! Thumbi. Shit. Yeah, there you go. Emergency people! Oh no, I am so screwed. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Bad idea. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a silence back here. Silence. Look, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? Don't let him know you're in here. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back so here he knows for uh, safety purposes. That we're inside. I'm gonna get slammed in the face, aren't I? Come on, damn it! Don't stay silent. How deep is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! How deep is this place? How? You kill me! Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. How you doing? Please, please, <laughs> How baby, are you doing? Please don't. Baby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Talk. Please don't kill me. You don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. Johan. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there... Shh. I have a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling about this. Yeah, 
Yes. Got shot. Got shot like a million, gazillion, zillion, trillion, bazillion times. Yet I could still lift the damn shutter. Noise. Oh sh What is this place? <laughs> I told you people. Oceans? Me. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear I don't know anything more. They I used... haven't been back here when it was like this. They used the butcher's place. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around with it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to! Huh. You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? You never told me. I didn't know. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. There you go, they're creating the potions so here. This is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. It's a lab. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked, like breaking their bones. And... Do I really need to explain this? Is that why she broke his bone? His arm? I don't know, I'm just assuming, you know. Stocks? Woo! Stock count? Huh. Looks like math or something. Stock count. Everybody on here? Whoa. Do you know anything about this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. The farm. There you go. Is that why people don't want to go back to the farm, right? <laughs> If you want to look at it, just you know, just pause or something, you know. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-Bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Tongue of dog? What a nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Damn. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the raw materials. No wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? What? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. 
whoever he's got in here in these chains. He's... he's enslaving fables. My watch. People just Not don't on know my the real watch. cost of getting something cheap. I am you know Big B building. Wolf for a reason. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What about Crane? If this all Ooh. I mean finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got in some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. Leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. I should have the gone there, Lucky then. Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business Find office. Protect Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Hey, no smoking here, bruv. Hey. Big bay. Big bay. No. 